Basics of sentence structure. A sentences consists of an object, subject, article, noun, adjective, verb, and pronoun, and many more. So let's see how do we use all these things in a sentence. Formation of the sentence in French. We are doing this in present form. So as we know, the subject is known as je which means I, tu, which is you, informal, il, which means he, el, she, nu, we, go, which means you in a formal manner, il, plural, that is they, el, plural, that is they. So, supposingly, if we need to make a sentence in French with present tense, we use these subjects. For example, we are using the verb parler, which means to speak. We need to conjugate this verb according to the subject. Let's see how do we do that. Let's see the formula of making a sentence. Subject that we discussed, je, tu, il, el, novo, il, el, pluriel, plus verb. For example, we have taken the verb parler and then the object, which means my remaining sentence. For example, je parle anglais. I speak French. So here, my subject is je, the verb is parle, and object is anglais. We know the conjugation of parler with the subject that is je parle, tu parles, il elle parle, nous parlons, vous parlez, il elle parle. So we will be using a conjugation according to the subject and then I will conjugate it and I will be adding the object. So make sure you remember this formula subject plus verb plus object. Now, the sentences with two verbs. Most of the time, we get confused which uh, verb to conjugate, the first one or the second one. And sometimes we conjugate both, but no. Let's see the rule. Subject plus first verb, that is the conjugated form of the verb. So we always conjugate first verb, be it in any tense, whether it is in present, past or future. My second verb is in a full form plus my object. For example, j'adore parler anglais. I love speaking English. J'adore, that is je, which is my subject. Adore, the first verb which I have conjugated according to the subject. Thus, my second verb that is parler which was to speak I have written this in a full form and then my rest of the sentence that is my object which is anglais English j'adore parler français j'adore parler anglais j'adore parler hindi so you can make various sentences future tense. So the first way of conjugating and making sentences is future drosh, which is the near future, in which we conjugate the verb with ale, that is subject plus verb plus object. So how do we use that? Je vais parler anglais. Je is my subject.
only. Shobe pale only. I'm going to speak English. So here also I'm only going to give my first book. I will not want to give my second book. exceptional verbs which are known as house verbs which we conjugate with être. So let's see. Je parle anglais. I spoke English. Je parle anglais. Here my subject is je. I have used the conjugated form of avoir. My participasse parle and my object. Only. If I have to conjugate this with être, how do we do that? Je suis zale au marché. Je, my subject, être verb conjugation. Ale, the verb, the action which I did. Au marché, that is my object. So now there are a few points which you must remember while you are making sentences in French. Only the first verb is conjugated. You will never ever conjugate the second verb irrespective of any tense. The position of prepositions and adjectives may vary. Reason being, there are many prepositions which comes before the noun and some comes after the noun. And same is with adjectives. So make sure that you have a proper list of exceptions in both the cases. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you really like this video, please like, share, and comment. Also, please do let us know the topics on which you would like us to make the most informative.